Getting imposter is fun. Winning as imposter is even funner. With these 10 tips, you will be getting a lot more imposter W's. We just hit 6K subscribers and we are now on the road to 7K. So if you enjoy Among Us content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. I will really appreciate you. And don't be alerted by all the NBA 2K content. There is going to be straight Among Us content from here on out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Among Us content from me. Also, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And make sure you leave a nice comment for me or a hateful one, whichever you prefer. It helps the algorithm either way. But without further ado, let's get into the 10 tips that are going to help you become a better imposter. Number one. The first tip is an obvious tip, but a lot of you are trigger happy and get caught. Make sure you and the person you plan on killing are isolated before killing that person. And of course, if there's a vent nearby, use a vent for an easy getaway. But of course, don't let anyone catch you venting. Number two. Tip number two is to make sure you are moving as you're sabotaging. A lot of you are standing as you're sabotaging and you can get caught easily. I'm actually going to give a bonus tip that no one else gives. Most people move with either just the mouse, which just using the mouse is horrible. Moving and just trying to kill, only being able to use mouse is terrible. Make sure you use your keys to move, but most people use the arrows. What most people don't know is you can use the left keys to move. W is to move up, S is to move down, A is to move left, and D is to move right. And of course, E is to sabotage, R is to report, and Q is to kill. So as you're moving, all the buttons you need are right beside your fingertips as you're moving. So the controls are going to be a lot easier, and you're going to be able to move, and sabotage, and kill, and all that good stuff more efficiently. Number three. This next tip is one of my favorites. This is what is called a stack kill. A stack kill is when a bunch of players are bunched up together and the imposter can get an easy kill without anyone being able to make out who the killer is. White well, looks pretty sus running out the pile after that person was killed, but you're going to see everyone griefing Deku and I'm going to say how we were all bunched up together and now look. Green. They are accusing Dark Green of being the culprit. Dark Green is the one that is guilty in their eyes but dark green is actually innocent he goes out unanimously not a single vote was cast against me but little do they know it was me and lime and we would go on to get the w now this one right here we are all bunched up and i literally didn't move but unfortunately i got my partner voted out number four Next tip is to actually fix your own sabotages. It actually seems crazy, but fixing your own sabotages can actually help build trust with the crewmates and potentially get you some alibis as the game goes on. Now, speaking of alibis, that is actually the next tip. Make sure you get alibis. If you are alone with someone, you don't have to kill every time you're alone with someone. You want to be able to build alibis. Pink actually ends up vouching for me later on in the game because I could have killed Pink right there and I fixed light or I'm trying to fix lights you know when multiple people try to fix lights it could be a disaster right there I could have killed purple but I didn't so building alibis is super important to build trust with your teammates right before stabbing them in the back and getting that easy imposter dub of course that's how I get things done Number six, because I included number five in tip number four. This next tip is so obvious, yet many people overlook it. When you kill someone, make sure you set a sabotage on the opposite side of the map. Everyone's going to run toward that sabotage, so it's going to buy you time. And it's going to give you time to get alibis and make up stories about where you were, etc, etc. Make sure you set sabotages on the opposite side of where you kill. Number 7! I know most of you like to play with two imposters. If there's an opportunity for a double kill, make sure you take it. 
Hopefully our partner is just smart enough to kill the person, which most of the time they will. You see Pink was killed, so the double kill did indeed happen. Eh, you won't believe this. We actually managed to get White voted out, and we got the easy W. Terrible. <laughs> Woohoo! Number 8! Remember how I brought up the importance of having an alibi? You see this guy blue, love you too, look familiar, he got that double kill with me the previous game and we got that imposter dub together. So we have that imposter bond, so this game I'm looking to use that to my advantage, just follow him around and hope that he can vouch for me, clear me, and you know, build his trust and hopefully that can help my game further down the line. We're just walking around, we are just vibing. Now look at this, he cleared me, purple is clear. And you're going to see how much that helps me later on. Number 9! Remember my earlier tip about fixing sabotages? Now, this right here has happened to all of us. But I'm going to show you. What do you do about it? I kill Brown, I run away, and I get caught by Pink! Look at me! I am mad, I am beating myself up, I think the game is over. But I type Pink right away, right before this person's able to type PURPLE. Which was a typo by the way. And this person typed in all caps. Typing in all caps is sus. Doesn't this person watch Among Us? Doesn't this person play Among Us? I said Pink killed in front of me at 02. You see, Love You 2 is still in the game. And my imposter partner is still in the game. So, I have two votes plus my own vote. That's three votes. Those are all the votes I need. So, the other person is irrelevant. This is why you want to keep your imposter partner alive. Try not to get your imposter partner caught. That is another tip that I will give you. You know, Pink is swearing that he saw me kill. You saw Lovey 2 say that he trusts me because I built that trust. And I kept my imposter partner alive and I kept myself alive. So I was able to keep two people close to me and I had myself two guaranteed votes. Orange Road against me, it's fine. It's because we are about to get this dub because I was able to pin the murder on Pink. And most importantly, I was able to build trust. So make sure you build trust with other players and keep your imposter partner alive. I'm too good at this shit. It's like I got lucky. The last tip I'm going to give you guys is not to overthink and have fun. I know that's super corny. But, you know, if you don't have fun and you're overthinking, then you're just going to play really sloppy, really bad, and you're not going to win. And I technically gave more than 10 tips. You know, that controls tip with the movement, that is going to help you a ton. And I haven't seen that tip on any other Among Us tips and tricks video. So I think I deserve my like, comment, and subscribe just off of that alone. But I hope you guys enjoyed. There is plenty more Among Us content where that came from. Some very fun imposter game boys where me and the boys were in the discord and it was hilarious and I might even stream so you know twitch link down below make sure you follow me on twitch and let me know what kind of Among Us content you want to see and do you want to see a crewmates tips and tricks on how to win as a crewmate but let me know all that in the comment section and yeah that's all i got for now but till next time i am out peace